hey guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here i am kira and in this video we are going to be doing a little back to school shopping haul as well as i'm going to be showing you some books and items that i got from my amazon wish list so if you're interested in seeing all the things that i got for back to school definitely keep on watching all right y'all so i think that the first thing that i'm going to do is take you guys through all the things that i got from h m well i got some things from some other places but h m just happens to be the bigger bag um <laughs> so i'm going to take you through the clothes that i got i um went to the outlets with um my teacher friend olivia and we went to ikea on an ikea trip so if you follow me on instagram you probably saw us together <laughs> that day um but we did a little bit of shopping and i wanted some new clothes for back to school um i don't really have any like a bunch of like nice like dress clothes and things like that granted you know kids are not going to be there but i still want i'm still required to go to into the building at least two days a week so i want to look nice and i need to like build up my professional wardrobe so um i got a few things i do plan to do another shopping trip probably right before school starts labor day weekend so if you guys like haul videos definitely leave me a comment down below letting me know letting me know if you want me to continue to do like haul videos for you guys and show you guys what i buy um but let's jump into this first and then we'll get to this little drawer system behind me it has a bunch of books in there that i want to share with you guys so let's get to the clothes first The first store that I'm going to show you guys what I got from is Old Navy. Um, I went to when I went to the outlets, they did not have a lot of things on like super sale. You would think like if you go to the outlet, you would get you would be able to get some things like pretty cheap. But the sale that they had at the Old Navy and the outlets was basically the same sale that they were having in the retail store. So um, I just went to the retail store the same weekend, but not the same day. And I grabbed a couple of things. So um, I did get two packs of masks. Yes, so these are the masks from Old Navy. A lot of teacher um, Instagrammers have been talking about them. I got the black. It has black, white, and like cream colors in it. And it tells you up here um, the patterns that are in the pack. So there's five in each pack. And I got like a black and white and cream color scheme. And then I got the like neutral grays and blues so um i got the real basic patterns because i don't wear a whole lot of color and these masks will be able to pretty much go with anything that i wear so i grabbed these and they were 12.50 per pack yes so they were 12.50 per pack the last thing that I grabbed from Old Navy was this cute, like maroon, burgundy-ish color um, cardigan. I used to get cardigans from Old Navy that were, um, it has a little pocket, that were like, the cardigans that were like, I don't know, it's a different kind of style of cardigan, maybe like the first style that they probably ever came out with. Not the like long um, style cardigans. So I want to get more of the long cardigans because I feel like that's more my style. The other cardigans kind of look more like childish, but 
um that's just in my opinion so yeah i love this color it's different i normally go for like black or white but i wanted to get something um a little bit out of my comfort zone so i got this pretty burgundy color um so yeah if i can figure out <laughs> how to like try this on and like have a split screen or whatever then i will but if not sorry um maybe i'll try to do like a try on haul video for my next um haul but those are all the things that i got from old navy i got the cardigan and then the two packs of masks i think that should be enough masks for me for the school year the next place that i went to to get um something was new york and company So if you don't know, or if you do have a New York and company, like where you live, New York and company is going out of business. At least I know it's going out of business in Virginia. And if you watch Vashara, she lives in Florida and she was like, their New York and company is going out of business too. And New York and company is a great store for like a lot of like professional, like business casual clothing and um they had these pants on sale they're called the audrey pant and they are slim leg ankle like slacks kind of like pixie pants at old navy but they're more like actual like slack material um these aren't as i mean they're stretchy but not as stretchy they're a little bit more structured than the ones from old navy um i grabbed these for 19 bucks they were originally like 49 these are originally like 50 dollars, and i ended up getting them for 19 dollars on sale right now they were having a 50 percent off plus an extra 25 percent off sale so i grabbed these pants and i got them in green because normally i go Oh, sorry y'all if I'm like in a new position or whatever but I got a phone call um in the, in the middle of me filming so filming on your phone problems but anyway these pants um I got them in green because I normally go for black and I wanted to switch it up and get something get some color into my wardrobe um I already have a pair of black pants a pair of blue pants a pair of khakis so I wanted to get the green color um and that's the only thing that i got from new york and company so next we're gonna go through this huge bag of h m stuff we're gonna go through this huge bag of h m stuff um I was so excited to go in H&M. They're having a good, good sale. Now, this was the actual a, a store in the outlet that was actually having a pretty good sale. And I got a good amount of things. I got two pair of jeans, two dresses, and a shirt. And they were only 40 bucks, y'all. 40 bucks for the whole shebang. But anyway, so this is the first dress that I picked up. Okay, so hopefully you can see that. It is pretty freaking cute. Um, simple black and white floral. Um, it was only $10.99, originally $34.99. So I was excited about this find. Very cute dress. Um, then we got this one. Yes, I know it's almost the same, but don't judge me. Um, this more this one is more cream than white. Um, and then the little it's more like a splatter detail than a actual flower detail. Um, and it has like these little pleats in the front. Um, but kind of the same style. It's not super thick but it does have a lining in there so you won't get like you know super duper cold um really cute dress hopefully you guys can see it all but yeah 
So those were the two dresses that I picked up. And I think this one, let's see how much it was. This one was originally $34.99 and I got it for $6.99. So those were the two dresses. And then I got this shirt. Um, it is like blue stripes, blue and white stripes. Very flowy. Loose fitting. Um, so I'm excited about this shirt. Olivia actually picked up this shirt in the store and didn't get it. And I saw it and I was like, um, I need it. And our new school colors are blue and gold. So I figured like I can wear this for like spirit. Um, and it was originally $14.99 and I got it for $3. So cute. Okay. And then these pants that I got. So a lot of my jeans have holes in them and I can't really wear them to school. So I grabbed some pants that didn't have any holes in them. These are the super skinny ultra high waist ankle length denim jeans. They're originally $49.99 and I got them for $10.99. So here's what they look like. Dark jeans ankle i'm short so i like anything that says ankle because anything that says ankle nine times out of ten will be like regular length on me <laughs> so um yeah this is what the back of the jeans look like fairly simple nothing too crazy um but i did need more jeans and there's no forever 21 ugh, in my area anymore Y'all, they close Forever 21. I can't, I can't. Um, but anyway, that's my store. Anywho, and then I got these ones right here. They're more of like a loose fit, but they're also ankled and they have like the rip detailing at the bottom, which I really like. These are called the Girlfriend Fit Regular Waist Jeans. So they're more of a loose fit. Um what they look like on the back so yeah that is everything that I got from H&M so the last store that I got some stuff from was Claire's so if you haven't noticed like I always wear studs I'm not really a dangly big crazy earring kind of person although I think they're like so cute and I really wish that I was into them but I don't really feel like I look good in like big earrings I really just love my cute little studs so I wanted to go to Claire's and like re-up on some studs and also get some like headbands so I got this gray one with a bow they were having a sale buy three get three free so i got two headbands i have a i had a black one not a head but i bought an a black one and a gray one i've already worn the black one already i really like them they actually stay on my head knotties tend to slip off a lot i wear knotties like when i have braids and stuff like that where i know they're not gonna slip off um but these are super cute and i love a bow i don't really look good with just like the flat headbands i need like something like interesting or detailed on it in order to make it look good on my head so i got this cute gray one and i also got a black one and then for earrings i got four different pair so i grabbed these bling bling ones here um i also go to claire's because i have sensitive ears and they have the sensitive solution earrings um i'm allergic to nickel so um i tend to go to claire's for that um so we got the little diamond ones and then i got some black diamond ones um i've never really had any black diamond ones so that's pretty cool um, not real diamond. Y'all know that this is not real jewelry at, um, Claire's, but it's sensitive. I mean, it's sensitive safe. I don't know what you call it, or they call it sensitive solutions. So they're, they work better in my ear. They don't irritate me like, like 
real costume jewelry does. Um, and then I got the moons because ugh, I'm obsessed with moons and stars. Um, and then I got another pair of pearl because my pearl ones are like starting to get nasty. So I picked that up from Claire's. So that is it for like clothing and like accessories and things like that that I picked up for back to school. This is like my first official like clothing Amazon wishlist haul putting it out there kind of thing so definitely definitely connect with me in the comments and let me know if this is something that you like if you're not somebody who likes to um write in the comments I get it I don't always write in the comments of people's videos that I watch definitely just hit the thumbs up and if I get enough thumbs up then that'll let me know that you guys want to see this so um, anywho, now we're going to move on to the Amazon wishlist portion of this video. Okay, so before I start with the books, I want to show you guys like some things that my uncle, um, my uncle like sent me some money and say, get some supplies off your Amazon wishlist. So with that, I bought, um, a two hole punch for my writing portfolios and I got a, um, a, I got the prong fasteners for the two hole punch so that the papers will be able to stay on the portfolio. So that I did buy, oh, and I did buy, I bought some tech things. Hold on real quick. Okay. So, um, I bought this right here. It is a type a adapter and it has the spot where you can put an sd card a mini sd card two usbs and an hdmi cord so here's that um i bought this because as you guys know um for virtual learning, it is a lot easier to use two monitors. Luckily, uh, a family that I nanny for, they gave me one monitor and then I have like a 30 inch small TV. So I'm gonna use my TV at home and I needed an adapter to be able to hook in the HDMI to this and then into my computer. So um, I grabbed that. And then luckily at school, they already provide us with one of these like little boxes. So then I'll be able to use my monitor that um, that family gave me. I'll be able to use that at school. So now I have two monitors at home and two monitors at school. Good to go for virtual learning. Um, <laughs> and then I did grab this cable here because the monitor that I have, it has like a specific like prong plug and I needed to go into the HDMI so I picked this up for that I really don't know the names of these cords y'all so don't judge me but um I picked that up as well so that's all the things that I got outside of books so now I'm gonna go through and show you all the books that I got so I want to thank the people in this video, even though I personally have already messaged anyone that has sent me something, I've already personally messaged them and told them thank you um, for it and that I appreciate it. I also keep the tags that they, um, or the notes that get sent with the items. That way I can actually write in the back of the book who donated the book to my classroom. And that way when the kids are reading the books, then they'll see that somebody out there that was generous enough to be able to give books to us for our classroom so that they can read. Um, but I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uh, drawers filled with books from eight different people. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull those out and show you what I got. <clears throat> so the first drawer, I got these two books from my beautiful god sister, Elisa. She lives in Florida. And I wanna say Elisa is actually teaching too. So thank you, thank you so much, Elisa. Elisa I appreciate you, you are amazing. Um, she got me Sophia Martinez, My Family Adventure. I put a lot of um, kind of diverse chapter books into on my Amazon wish list a lot of like first chapter books 
um, because in first grade, that's when they start getting really exposed to books. And even though they're in first grade, I still want them to be exposed to chapter books because you never know how um, fast somebody's reading level will grow. So um, I picked, I wanted to get the Sophia Martinez series and she got me one of those books. Um, and then this book right here is If You Were a Plus Sign. Um, I also put if you were a minus sign on my wish list as well but i wanted to get more books that i could or more read alouds that i could use in different subjects other than reading and this was an awesome one to be able to incorporate for math because we do addition and subtraction in first grade so thank you again alisa for these two books okay so the next set i got four books from my best friend Tasha and her mom. I call her my Auntie Barbara. So um, Tasha got me the Molly Mac um, chapter book. So I want to, this is another chapter book series that I want to build into my library. Um, super cute little black girl on um, the cover. So Molly Mac. And she also got me Kina Ford. So, so super cute. So super cute. So, thank you, Tasha. And then my Auntie Barbara got me the I Am Positive Affirmations for Brown Girls. I already have the I Am Positive Affirmations for Brown Boys. So I wanted to get the one for brown girls to have, into, have in my classroom. And then she also got me, I can do hard things. And then another chapter book, Meet Yasmin. So I want to get um, all the Yasmin books in my classroom as well. So she got me this one. Thank you, Auntie Barbara and Tasha for grabbing these books for me. I can't wait to put them into my library. So this next drawer, I was spoiled, y'all. Spoiled by this family. Like, so I mentioned earlier that a family that I nanny for gave me um, a monitor and a wireless keyboard and a wireless mouse for me to do my virtual um learning if you caught my classroom setup day six or seven um i believe i showed you guys some magnetic things that were going on my board this family also bought those things from off of my amazon wish list and they bought me this huge stack of books y'all like amazed grateful like it's amazing like I can't I can't I've already shed tears <laughs> about this family giving um, me these things but I just I can't believe it thank you thank you so much to the Kenyan family like you guys spoil me and do me so well when it comes to back to school thank you thank you so much I cannot ask for a better family to be connected with like you guys are amazing. So let me go through and show you guys all the books that they got me. It's so many books. But yes, I'm so excited about all of them. Okay, so we have Rosie Revere Engineer. Um, I do also have the Ada Twist Scientist and the, uh, I can't remember, something Peck architect um i also have those on my wish list so if you're somebody who wants to donate um i want to get this whole collection um but they got me rosie revere so i'm very excited about that then we got our class is a family this is definitely going to be one of the books that i read for the first week of school y'all 
I was so excited about these. I was definitely going to just per these these two books. I was going to just purchase if nobody got them off of my wish list. Um, a lot of the things that are on my wish list are on my wish list because I intend to buy them. Um, if there are generous people out there who want to donate, that is amazing and I appreciate it. But if not, like I want those books to be in my library eventually. It might take some time, but <laughs> eventually I want all those books that are on my wish list in my classroom so um the fact that they actually got these for me ugh, i love them um so germs versus soap and then we have when verona the corona came to town um there is like one more book about being six feet apart that i want to get but i don't want to get that quite yet just in case like we don't come back into the building so um the other ones i really love like i said i'm trying to get books um of diversity into my classroom so we got marco's cinco de mayo and then we have um book fiesta very good so excited so i have already have the book what um what would danny do and i think it's like the school version he has a regular one um and then a school version i just have the school version which someone graciously purchased off of my amazon wish list last year and this year we got what should darla do and guys i didn't even notice that on the back you know how everybody in their classroom is doing the whole affirmation mirror look at her she has her own little affirmation mirror. How freaking cute is that? Oh, I'm so obsessed. Okay, so we got What Should Darla Do? Excited about that. That'll probably be one of my um, first week of school books as well. Then we have the What If Everybody Did That? This is a classic beginning of the year book to read. So I'm so excited that I actually have it. Um, then we have The Magic of Me, My Magical Choices. So this is a very good book, teaching you the power of choice. Then we have Fry Bread, like I said, trying to add books into my library from different cultures. And this is a Native American family story, Fry Bread. So I definitely wanted to get that. Um, I've always been told that I have Native American in my family. So I've always kind of been um, drawn towards like Native American culture. So I'm very excited about having this in my book and being able, my, in my classroom and being able to read this to my students. This one, y'all, I'm obsessed. Mm, y'all know me. I'm embracing my natural hair and this is amazing. I love the little short of this um, movie. Um, Vashti Harrison is my favorite, favorite artist. Oh my gosh, she's my favorite illustrator. I love her illustrations in books. Um, you will, you, this will not be the last time you see her name um, in, in the illustration credit of a book that I have because I'm obsessed with her. Um, and then this is called Hair Love. Um, there, there is a little short on this. I want to say it's on Disney Plus and you can find it on YouTube. I saw it on YouTube um, and it's amazing. It's so cute. So glad to have that in my room. And then the last book from this family is The Color Monster, a story about emotions. Uh, this year we are incorporating a social emotional sort of curriculum into our school day, which I'm very, very excited about. And this is definitely a good book to read to teach kids about their emotions. So yes, thank you. Thank you, thank you so much to the Kenyon family. I just, I love you guys. I love you so much. 
All right, so the next set of books is from my sweet friend Katie on Instagram. I chatted with Katie in my DMs and thank you, thank you so much. She's an actual fellow teacher herself. So good luck this year, Katie. And I appreciate you um, taking the time to get some books off of my Amazon wish list. She got me who was Mr. Rogers. If you um, have been following me for a while, you know that I have a lot of the Who Was books and I love having them in my classroom just to teach kids about people um, who have just been amazing in this world and have done some great things. So um, one of my faves is Mr. Rogers. I grew up on Mr. Rogers. Mr. Rogers is like freaking amazing to me. So I had to put that on my Amazon wish list can't wait to um talk to my kids about that because most first graders know daniel tiger and the fact that like daniel tiger is based off of mr rogers neighborhood like come on um and then she got me the whole collection of the wayside school complete collection they actually did come out with a fourth book so i need to put that on my amazon wish list so that i can have the whole collection but yes thank you thank you so much katie you're amazing all right so um from my little sophie self and Carrie, they sent me these two lovely books by Mo Willems. I'm trying to get my Mo Willems collection up. I have about three Elephant and Piggy books and maybe two Pigeon books. So I need some more. I definitely have lots on my Amazon wish list. So definitely go check that out. But they got me Elephants Can't Dance. My kids like die laughing when I read elephant and piggy books it's so funny um and then the duckling gets a cookie so there's so many more pigeon books out there like I would love to have them all there's a lot of elephant and piggy books out there as well but they granted me these so thank you Carrie thank you Sophie love you guys so much my legs are falling asleep guys Ooh. So I put on my Amazon wish list a lot of like um, social emotional books um, just because I work in a pretty tough district and you know the kids just need to learn how what to do with their emotions and things like that and we didn't really ever have a curriculum at our school to be able to teach them those things. Um, I'm so glad that they're implementing that this year. So I wanted to get a lot of picture books that would um, help them along the way through this journey of social emotional learning and um, I got a lot of books by, um, or the art is from um, Peter H. Reynolds. So I got the I Am Human. I Am Loved. And then Be You. So there's one more on my list, on my Amazon wish list, I think is I Am Peace. And if no one purchased that off of my wish list, wish list, that is one that I'm going to go ahead and just purchase on my own to be able to finish out this little social emotional collection. I got these books from an amazing family. I got them from the Orinsky family, Courtney, Ian, Kate, and Jack. Thank you, thank you so much for these. I truly appreciate you so, so much. You guys treat me so well, thank you. Because I cannot remember who gave me these books. This was like the first set of books that I actually got. Um, I'm gonna look and find out who gave these to me and then I'll make sure that I put their name on the screen but peter h reynolds um the word collector excited to use this book um pink is for boys hello got gotta show the lgbtq com uh, community some love in my class in my classroom library there's this one book that um the chronicles of teacher tay posted i want to say and it was like a drag queen book oh my god i cannot wait to get that book into my classroom but um yes i had to get this pinkest for boys book um you might think those conversations don't come up in first grade but they do um and then the arabic quilt 
I, if you are somebody who um, watched the Get Your Teach On sessions this summer and you watched the session by Lanisha and um, Naomi, then you know about the Arabic quilt. I'm so excited for this. I want to do a lesson with this this year. So I definitely, definitely am grateful for getting this book. These are like the first three books that I received off of my Amazon wish list, and I truly, truly appreciate you for getting these for me. The last set of books that I got is from the beautiful Blake family, another family that I used to nanny for. Um, I love those boys so much like they're my own um, it's crazy I've watched them grow up from the ages of newborn to two and now they're in like fourth or fifth grade and sixth grade now crazy so <laughs> thank you thank you so much to Emery and Jay's Kenya and Dwayne for sending these books my way so way y'all I cannot wait okay so um, we got Rapunzel. I put a lot of these um, fairy tale board books on my um, Amazon wish list. Isn't it beautiful? Like the fact that Rapunzel is brown, y'all. I love it. So um, I have a couple on my Amazon wish list that I wanted to grab, and it's like it has the um, princesses, Disney princesses. They have one for Snow White and Cinderella, and they're like different in different cultures. So um, I want to say this one is for India, Indian, because she has her little thing right here. Not sure what it's called. Don't come for me in the comments, but um, yeah. I'm so excited about this. So thank you for getting that. Sway. Oh my gosh. This, again, my girl, Vashti Harrison, my girl, did the pictures and oh, I just gotta, let's, 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 oh, let's open this book y'all because it's just so, so beautiful. Ooh, it's so beautiful. Oh, and so magical. I cannot wait to read this to my kids. Um, of course, you guys know that Lupita, Lupita Nyong'o um, wrote this book. Beautiful picture of her on the back. I cannot wait till my kids see this. I was so excited about that. Malala's Magic Pencil. Y'all, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to read these kids, read these kids, these books. It's just, gosh, I can't wait y'all. I'm just blown away. And then we have Just Ask. And this one is by um, Sonia Sotomayor. Love it. Cannot wait to dive into this book. Um, be different, be brave, be you such a good message um so thank you again to the Blake family for getting these books for me I cannot wait to read these to my students all right friends that is it we are done we have went through all of the things if you have made it this far in the video thank you thank you Thank you so much for watching. You watching this video and giving me a thumbs up is just enough. It's supportive enough for me. So thank you, thank you again. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked the clothes that I got and you like the books that are shared and give me a big thumbs up if you wanna see more haul videos. Definitely subscribe, join my fam. I would love to have you here. There are more videos to come even though school is about to start. Don't worry, more organization videos. I wanna do my bathroom and my closets. I gotta get those nice and clear. So there'll be more organization videos coming here. There'll be more teaching videos coming here there'll be more vlogs and you guys seeing what's going on in my life I'm gonna try my best to be consistent I have my planner ready to go for the videos let's just hope that this year does not derail me in my YouTube journey but 
Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. Thank you again for being here. I love you. I love you so, so much. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.